Well, hello, good morning. Uh, we're just looking at how do we draw a box plot. If you said you had a histogram, and that gives you a certain shape of data. So this is a frequency histogram. And so, you know, it's not many scores on there. So if I had to do a curve at the top. Now, the question is, what does that look like in a box plot? Would, would the five number summary in a box plot give me any sense of the distribution of how to do that? So I've started, the way you need to do it first is you've got a frequency histogram. So that's what this is, a frequency histogram. And we need to fill in the table. So I've done the first few scores already. So there's one score of one, two score of two, three scores of three, four of four. Then there's five fives and five sixes, six sevens. How many eights are there? Well, that's frequency is 10. So we've got that. Then nine has a frequency of 12. And then 10 drops back down to two. As we saw before, to do the, now to do the cumulative frequency, and, and you can see a previous lesson or previous examples of how I do this in more detail, but the cumulative frequencies just add up. So we've got 10, 15, 20, 26, 36, 48, and 50 scores. Okay, now remember that's the frequency. So my five number summary is over here. So five number summary. And I've got my minimum score is one, that's my lowest score, the maximum is 10. Well, where's my median? Okay, so, I mean, basically 50 divided by 2 equals 25. So we've got the 25th, 26th score. This is where my median's going to be, Q2. So I need to find my 25th and 26th. Well, look, if I see here, 20th, so the scores of 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 are 6, and then everything from 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 are 7. So that means Q2 is 7. All right? And then if we talk about the Q1, well, we've got 25 scores plus 1. That's equal to 26. And then if you divide that by 2, that's equal to 13. So the 13th score is what we're interested in. So the 13th score sits here. That's where Q1 is going to sit. Because up to 10 is 4, and then the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th scores are all 5. So Q1 is 5. So we've got that. So the 13th score is 5. Now we look at the third quartile, Q3. Well, this is the one that's a bit trickier. So we've got 26, and we have to count 13 scores up. So we've got 26 to 50 is 25 scores, all right? And then we have to find halfway. Now, there's a couple of ways you could do this, of course, but basically you could count it 26, 27, 28. I mean, you could go all the way up there, but essentially what you're going to have is 26 plus 12 gets you the 13 score. So that's going to be 38th score. Now, you can count it if you like because we're inclusive. 38 minus 26 is 12. Yes, but we need to include the 26. So the 38 score sits here. That's Q3. Because everything up to 36, right, is 8. 27, 28, 20, all the way up to 36. Score. And then the 37th, 38th score is 9. So Q3 is 9 is the 38th score. So we've got that. So my Q3 is 9. Now, if any of that's so you're not sure, you need to ask. So I can hopefully take it through. But understanding quartiles from the table is an important skill. Once we have my five number summary, well, drawing the box plot is a fairly simple process, I think. So we just do the box. I would suggest to you always doing the box first is a good idea. So five is my lower, oh, I'm just going to do it four up like that, do a line there, then we mark the upper quartile, which is nine, if we go up here, <clears throat> connect it with a box, hence the box plot, and then we mark the median, which in this case is seven, right in the middle. Actually, it's very symmetrical kind of data in terms of the box it is. And then we mark the uh, maximum and minimum. Maximum is 10 up here, and the minimum is all the way down here, one, 
All right, and then we draw the whiskers, as they're sometimes called, or the lines, and we connect those. Oh, I've done it off by one. Okay, I need to fix that. It's a bit off. Let me just fix that up. So it's here. So that's my thing. And then we've got our line that connects. And there's our box plot that we have. All right. Now, the histogram had a skewness towards the upper part. And you see that. You see the long tail here. This part has 25%. All right. Between 1 and 5 you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 25 percent Well, this section here between 9 and 10, 9 and 10 also has 25%. So you see how this is more spread out here than it is in this section. So that's kind of how we think about it. And remember that, always remember that the middle section is 50%. All right, 50% of our scores are in the box of it. Okay, so we can have a go at the exercise uh, and uh, please make sure you have a look at that. Thanks.